Good morning, hot dogs. Happy Wednesday. After the pledge, Decca and one. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you guys weren't aware, the Strategic Marketing Seniors will be on a New York City field trip today, uh, November 29th through Sunday, December 3rd. Six seniors, Miss Graham Bishop and Miss Long, will be visiting many iconic NYC landmarks, taking a Broadway show, touring Madison Square Gardens and Radio City Music Hall, watching the Christmas Spectacular with the, rocket, the Rockets, observing holiday window displays and eating a lot of delicious food. Be sure to follow Frankfurt Deca on Instagram for a real-time adventure. We hope you guys have a safe trip to the Big Apple. One more reminder that the orchestra will be playing at Frankfurt Public Library on December 16th. We hope to see you there. Now I'll be sending it off to Douglas Wood for sports. Thank you, Ella. Last night, both the girls and boys swim team had a nice meet against the North Montgomery Chargers. Even though both teams fell to the Chargers, they swam well. A few swimmers had some drops in their times. Hadley Galishan had the highest number of times dropped. She dropped 6.65 seconds in the 200 meter individual and 0.5 seconds in the 100 brushstroke. Soraya Valencia dropped an impressive 16.55 seconds in her 50 freestyle. Blaine Varner also dropped an impressive 19.14 seconds on his 100 butterfly. To end all that, lastly, Isai Jimenez from a blazing last leg in the boys 400 freestyle relay with a 58.97 seconds. Also last night, the Lady Hot Dogs welcomed the Blackhawks of Sheridan to Case Arena for a JV half and a varsity contest. The JV Hot Dog squad, consisting of Gibbon West, Jackie Tovar Gijosa, Mariela Lopez Chavez, Jasmine Rivera, and Aaron Wills, competed and played very well in their 15 7 loss. The first quarter saw the JV Dogs score seven points while also getting to the line three times. Mariela Lopez Chavez was able to knock down two big buckets, one being a three to start the game for the Hot Dogs. The JV squad was led in scoring by Mariela Lopez Chavez with six and Jasmine Rivera with two. Jackie Tovar-Gihosa handled the point guard duties well, getting into the lane multiple times in the half. Aaron Wills attacked the glass well, acquiring multiple offensive rebound opportunities. Given West was also able to create open looks for herself, and Jasmine Rivera attacked the glass a number of times for layup opportunities. The JV will play their next game against Delphi on Thursday, November 30th. In the varsity contest, Sheridan was able to gain an elite early, but after the Lady Hot Dogs settled down, they were able to create great scoring opportunities in the second, third, and fourth quarters. The second half saw the Lady Hot Dogs play very well, and the score was reflective of that, with it being 16-13. Effort, energy, and enthusiasm continues to show every day the Lady Hot Dogs and what they are just continuing, just continuing to get better every day as they look to build off what was a very good second, third, and fourth quarter. The Lady Hot Dogs were led in scoring by Daisy Santos Valdez and Vanessa Guardado with eight. On the glass, the Lady Hot Dogs were paced by Sara Flores with another double-digit rebound game with ten, and Vanessa Guardado added four. In the steals department, Ashley Vasquez Rivera led the way with three, and Sire Flores and Daisy Santos Valdez each added two. On the defensive end, Ashley Vasquez Rivera was also able to add 14 deflections. The Lady Hot Dogs also blocked three shots with Ashley, Sire, and Daisy each having one apiece. The Lady Hot Dogs are looking forward to a quick turnaround as they play Delphi on Thursday. Let's go, Hot Dogs. That's it for sports today. Now to Anthony with the weather. Thank you, Huger Fanatic, and let's talk about the climate today. It's going to be a bit warmer with a nice high of 44. It'll still be cold, but still warmer, as there's going to be abundant sunshine, so it's going to be very bright today. Later tonight, it's going to be a cold low of 29 degrees, and it's going to be cold, but a nice clear sky. If you love looking at the sky, you'll see that today, Starlink will be passing Frankfurt at 6.31 p.m. Starlink is a satellite network that has thousands in the air, but we're not sponsored by them, so they're going to be passing by anyways. Doug just gave you an entire essay, so I'll keep this segment short, so I'm going to send it to Ella's mom. Thanks, weirdo. For today's lunch, we are having in lines one and two, spicy chicken sandwich, and for lines three and four, mini cinnamon toast with sausage on the side. Big happy birthday goes out to Jeremy Lima Mejia, Sitlali Lopez, and Douglas Scott. That's all for today, hot dogs.
Hope you have an amazing Wednesday.